In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to build this simple SQL AI agent here from NAN, where I can be able to answer any questions that we have about our relational SQL database. And first thing first, we're gonna show you how you can be able to create your tables inside of your database using a platform called Superbase, where you can be able to create your relational database here. And once I insert all my data inside of our database, then I will show you how you can connect this with your SQL AI agents. For example, I was able to ask like, which reason content is working best, top five video by an engagement. And if you were to run this, you can see the SQL agent here is able to trigger and basically start to query the data. And here we have our result, which here you can see it shows the SQL query that it ran. And I also show you the results on what are the top five most engaging videos that we have on our channel. So pretty much that's what I'm going to show you in this video. And the reason why I made this video is because on my channel, I made a video called the SQL AI agent from NAN, where NAN has a default SQL agent before, but now they don't have this feature anymore. So in this case, we have to build our own SQL agents. And this is basically how we can be able to build our SQL agents using Superbase to basically connect it inside of our NAN AI solutions. All right, so pretty much that's what we're gonna cover in this video. So if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we're gonna create our database for our project. So to do so, we're gonna to come to a place called Superbase, which basically is a Postgres development platform. And this platform basically handled the entire backend like the Postgres database, authentications, APIs and edge functions, even real-time subscriptions, storage, and even vector embeddings. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna use Superbase here to create our database tables and be able to insert data there and be able to use that for our SQL agents. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on start our project right here. Awesome, so once you set up your projects, this looks something like this, where we can be able to see our dashboard to see the current projects like the database, authentications, storage, and such. So what we're gonna do now is we're basically gonna create our data tables so that we can be able to insert our data onto our tables and be able to create our relations and be able to basically set up our tables and data all together before we move on to the SQL agents. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna navigate the sidebar here and here you can see that we can click on the database and here inside of our database, you can see that we are getting to the schema visualizer, which will basically visualize the schema on a canvas. So basically the goal here is that I have scraped the entire channel data from my YouTube channel and basically insert it onto a database right here. So you can see that for each video that I have on my channel, I have the title, descriptions, tags, published date and such. And then for each video here, it will have many comments. And for each comments here, it also has many sub comments, which we can be able to see the relations between those three tables. And that's basically our table. And if you want to create your table, simply just navigate tables right here and click on the tables right here and you can give it a name. You can set up a policy. You can also add different columns, different values, different data type, different names of the columns, and simply choose a primary key for your table. And once you create your table, you can also import data from CSV, but I already have my table and I also inserted my data onto my table as well. And here you can see that this is my tables, right? Sub comments, comments, and also the video table right here. So each of those tables has data, right? Which you can see here. And basically these are all scraped by my YouTube channel. So once we have this, right, once we have all these data and tables and schema set up, so now it's basically the time to integrate our AI agents with our database so that it can be able to query the data based on what we're looking for. All right, so in that case here, you can see that we have navigated to NAN, and this is the workflow that I create called SQL AI agents. And basically the goal here is that we're gonna have a chat window that user can be able to ask any questions to the large language model here. And here we have our SQL agent that it creates. Basically underneath is just AI agents. And first thing first we do here is that we're gonna get the table schema, right? So we have three tables in our database. So we're gonna send a query here to here. You can see this is the query that I wrote, basically try to get all the tables that we have inside of our database and try to run this query and it will basically get all the schema that we have. And then here we have a code block here, try to format a table into a markdown format to pass it to a large language model so that it's much more easier to understand. And then we also have our SQL agent here, which will basically take the schema and also the user question. And it's going to basically understand the user intent, generate the SQL query, execute it safely, and then handle the response based on the user prompt. And then there's also some guidelines that I provided as well as the response format that we want. Basically the response format here is simply just try to understand the user query, right? The user question, show the SQL query, execute the SQL query using the SQL query tool, and then be able to present the results clear and readable format, right? And then provide the insights or summaries if the result set is large. And that's basically my prompt, but feel free to change your prompt based on the uh, SQL agents. And basically after we have this run, uh, we will basically have 
the tool here called the SQL query, which is basically using the Postgres, which connects to the SUBase, base, which I'll show you in a second. And basically here you can see that for the SQL query, it's going to just execute the query in Postgres. Now NAN here is really nice to have a function called from AI, which will basically have AI to generate the query or generate whatever we provide inside of this. And to give you a demonstration here, you can see that it just ran the workflow. And you can see here that the SQL agent here just call its tool, which is the SQL query agent. So in this case, inside of this tool, you can see that we have the from AI function being triggered. And whatever we provide inside of the quotation mark is what we want AI to generate. So here you can see on the left is what we have AI generates, which is the SQL query, right? So the select statement, which is a SQL query. And once we have AI generate this, we're gonna pass this query into this SQL query tool and basically try to execute and get the response that we have on the right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look to see how we can be able to test our SQL agent with some test cases and be able to validate the SQL capability and also help me to answer some strategic questions about my YouTube channel growth through the data-driven insights on engagement, audience behavior, and content optimization. Now, in terms of testing to see the capability for the SQL agents, I have divided this into different sections. So in terms of the test case, we have the basic filtering just to try to test the basic where clause. And then we also have the aggregation function, which we're trying to test if there's able to use the count, the average, the group by, the sum, something like that, which we can see if the SQL agent here is able to do. Um, then we're also gonna take a look to see if it's able to join with model tables, temporal, analysis where it's able to extract information from certain columns and then we also want to see if it's able to do sorting limiting complex multi queries there's also text and array operation right we want to see if they would do so uh, lastly we're also going to see if there's able to do some advanced insight queries these are some things that contains with like cdes or window functions complex pattern to extract business insights and such Right, so these are all things that we're gonna do. And pretty much that's what we're gonna do now is to test the SQL agent to see if it has full functionality for the SQL agent here. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the first one, which is the basic filtering to basically test the where clause to see if it's able to do that. So first thing first, we have our question, which is what video are getting the most or recent engagement in the last 30 days? So in this case, it's gonna be filtered by the date of the comment posted. All right, so in this case, I just navigate back to NAN and I have basically run this question. So here you can see, I simply just open the chat, paste the question here, which is what you see here. And then this is what it ran. So this is the query that it ran, right? So this is the where clause, which is basically try to check for the last 30 days on the date posted for the comment table. And then here you can see that these are the results that we have. So we have our videos. So these here are the video with the recent engagement in the last 30 days. So pretty much you can see it is using the where clause checking the now minus the interval of 30 days, or it's gonna be using the sub comments here, which will basically check for those. So pretty much you can see that we're using the simple where clause here is able to do so. Um, let's also check with the aggregation function, right? So pretty much like what is the, you know, my channel overall and engagement health look like, right? For example, like total comments, average likes. So here it's gonna get the total count using the total comments and also using the average function to get the average like. So in this case, I'm just gonna reset this and here I'm gonna paste the question, run the SQL agent, which is what we see here, right? So you can see the little SQL agent running, right, right here running. So usually here you can see we have our section for the SQL query, which here you can see is using the average and also the count function to get those data which here you can see the SQL agent here is doing a pretty good job. So here are the total comments that we have, including the sub comments. And here is the average per comment. And here is the average like per the sub comments. And here is basically the summary, right? So pretty much you can see that we're getting less sub comment likes compared to the comment likes, right? So that's a really great insight to know. Um, so you can see that we're able to use the counts and the average function from the aggregation functions. Now let's try to see if it's able to do the group by, right? So for example, like which topic drive the most conversation? So it's gonna use the group by and the count function, order by the count by descending order. So in this case, I'm just gonna clear the chat and paste this question and let's see what the SQL agent here generates. All right, so now you can see this is what it looks like. So here you can see that this is the SQL query that it ran, okay? So here you can see clearly, it basically uses the group by function for the grouping topic and also order by the total conversation. So now, if you were to take a look at the results, here you can see that these are the top 10 video topics driving the most conversation. So for example, like NAN, AI agents, clock code, AI coding, right? So those are pretty much like the top uh, trending topics on my channel, which is pretty accurate. And here is the insights. So those are some great things that we can see here. 
All right, so pretty much you can see we can use the group by, the aggregation, pretty cool. Um, we can also be able to verify that is using multiple uh, multi-table join table here, right? So for example, like which video create the most um, active discussion, highest reply to comment ratio. The goal is we wanna see if it's able to join this uh, sub comments table and group by the video ID and such, right? So it's able to do the left join, the right join or whatever to basically join a table accurately. So in this case, I'm just gonna restart the conversation and here I'm just going to paste this question. Hopefully that's able to show the query that is able to join with uh, multiple tables to come up with the results. All right, so here you can see just like what I expected, it uses the left join to join the comments with the video ID with the uh, video table here, right? So, and also left join with the uh, sub comments right here. And then it's gonna group by the video ID and the title, and it's gonna order by the uh, reply to comment ratio, which is what we have calculated here. So basically, um, this is what the result look like, right? So the reply to comment ratio 2.0 for this video. And here you can see this is the total comments. This is the total, uh, I guess this is the total sub comments and this is the total comments we have. So basically you can see that it's able to do that with the uh, multi-join here. So I think we have tested with a couple of questions with multi-join. So I think multi-join is able to do that with, you know, this SQL agent. So let's take a look at some other ones like temporal analysis, like it's able to use the data trunk to basically extract the data. And it should also be able to use like some basic aggregation here. So for example, like when is my audience most active for Altmo posting schedule day and hour um, analysis. So here I'm just gonna navigate back, restart, and here I'm just gonna send this question. Okay, so here you can see that this is our data. Uh, it, unfortunately, it did not show the query for some reason, but that's no problem. Uh, we can also be able to look into the execution like this query right here. And here, if I were to expand this, here you can see that this is the SQL query that AI generates. So we're selecting using, so here you can see that it's using the extract function to extract the date post comments and also extract the hour from the date post comments as well. And then here you can see that these are all the response we get, like the date of the uh, week, the hour of the week, uh, the hour of day, and also the comment counts. And then here for the second iteration, this is what it generates, is asking for sub comments here, right? So you can see that we can pretty much verify that it's able to do so with the data extraction for the temporal analysis. Um, last one, or in this case, not the last one, but like sorting and also limiting things, we can actually be able to also verify this. So here I'm just gonna open the chat, clear the conversation that we have, and I'm just going to paste this question. Let's see what it does here. So here you can see that this is the query is gonna using the order by to sort in descending order and limit it to 10 videos, right? Uh, which is what we have mentioned here. So here are the top 10 performing videos by the video count, which we can see here, okay? Pretty accurate based on what I know. And if you simply just click on the most popular video, uh, sort by most popular video on my channel, you should be able to see the similar results. So we can pretty much say that sorting and limiting is also uh, working fine. There's also the complex multi-query or multi-filtering, where it's gonna use like multiple filter with aggregations or join tables, right? Some complex ones. So let's say if I were to choose this one right here, where where are my um, applications opportunity, the reason high engagement content. So I'm just gonna paste this question and let's see what it does. All right, so here you can see that we have our query here, which basically is gonna calculate the reason highest engagement, which here you can see is gonna um, join a table and it's gonna do some weird clause here for the last 30 days. And eventually here we have our data here, okay? So we have our comments, sub comments here, and then total likes right here. And these are all sorted by the top 10 recent high engagement videos that we have. So that's pretty much the complex multi filterings. Um, there's also text and array operations. So for example, like which topic tags generate the highest discussion engagement. So it's gonna use the array operation here. So for example, I'm just gonna clear this and run this. All right, so here you can see that we have our unless right here to basically get a data. And this is what the result look like. So we have the top 10 topics and tags by engagement. So we have our AI agents, NAN, browser AI agents and such. Um, that's basically all the tests that we have went through just to recap everything we went over, like the text array, the complex multi-filters, the sorting, limiting, temporal analysis, multi-table joins, aggregations, basic filterings and such, right? So these are all the things that we have went over in this video. 
All right, so pretty much that's it for this video. And so far what we have went over is how we can be able to set up our database inside of Superbase accounts and how we can be able to integrate it into our SQL AI agents from NAN and how we can be able to test this with different test cases to test the SQL capabilities. So pretty much that's it for this video. And if you do feel value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.